Texas. Neither Judge Ludig nor his mother attended Napoleon's execution at all, although his sister did. The judge said, quote, It's become so politicized. What gets lost is that these are two families. For us and the Beasleys, it's not a political event. One to another as human beings, we extend our sympathy to them for their loss. For us, the lives of our loved ones have been lost and our lives have been forever changed. There was no final meal or final words, but Napoleon did release a written statement saying, The act I committed to put me here was not just heinous, it was senseless. But the person that committed that act is no longer here. I am. I'm not going to struggle physically against any restraints. I'm not going to shout, use profanity, or make idle threats. Understand that I'm not only upset, but I'm saddened by what is happening here. I'm not only saddened, but disappointed that a system that's supposed to protect and uphold what is just and right can be so much like me when I made the same shameful mistake. If someone tried to dispose of everyone here for participating in this killing, I'd scream a resounding no. I'd tell them to give all the gift that they would not give me, and that's to give them all a second chance. I'm sorry that I'm here. I'm sorry that you're all here. I'm sorry that John Ludig died. And I'm sorry that it was something in me that caused all of this to happen to begin with. Tonight, we tell the world that there are no second chances in the eyes of justice. Tonight, we tell our children that in some instances, in some cases, killing is right. This conflict hurts us all. There are no sides. The people who support this proceeding think this is justice. The people that think I should live think that is justice. As difficult as it may seem, this is a clash of ideals with both parties committed to what they feel is right. But who's wrong if in the end we're all victims? In my heart, I have to believe that there's a peaceful compromise to our ideals. I don't mind if there are none for me as long as there are for those who are yet to come. There are a lot of men like me on death row, good men who fell to the same misguided emotions but may not have recovered as I have. Give those men a chance to do what's right. Give them a chance to undo their wrongs. A lot of them want to fix the mess they started but they don't know how. The problem is not in that people aren't willing to help them find out but in the system telling them it won't matter anyway. No one wins tonight. No one gets closure. No one walks away victorious. Cedric and Donald Coleman each had their own separate trials and both received life in prison with parole eligibility after they've served 80 years. <laughs>